beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day for a neighbor. Won't you be mine? Would you be mine? Hello, boys and girls. Today, we're going to talk about battle rap. What's going on everybody? Got my dog here. Say hello to the cow, Miss Big Ears. Uh, my apologies for that, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what I was thinking. I woke up, started my morning with the uh, early morning episode of um, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. You know, I wanted to get in touch with my light skin childhood. And uh, yeah, I was feeling inspired to spread positivity, but um, I forgot it's a battle rap. It is a positive thing, but that's a little bit too soft. So um, I just thought, you know, about to get ready to go on my workout. Um, Summer Madness 5 is coming up. The first trailer dropped, the warm-up trailer. So I figured, why sit in front of, you know, the camera stationary for 20 minutes just talking and being kind of boring? Like, you want to go? She, she's tired of being in the spotlight. And um, why not, you know, take you guys on a journey through a, a day in the life of a boxer? You know what I'm saying? While I get my workout on outside, indoors, wherever I'm at. BTW, this is officially the Hughes couch. Uh, shout out to Chilla Jones. We stay scheming. Boss Town. Anyone from Boston, stay up. Anyone not New York, don't matter. Boss Town. We stay scheming. Cop the shirts. Um, so yeah, let's get busy, man. Talk about summer madness and get our exercise on. This is my summer madness five warm up. One primary reason why you want to be as a fan in tip top shape for summer madness five. Maybe you guys don't remember what happened at Gnome 5, but if you're not properly conditioned to take the impact and the energy in the building of these punches at Irving Plaza, with all due respect, you might end up looking like this guy. All right, so my first stop on this road to Summer Madness 5, an epic journey. It's taking me to Prospect Park. About to get busy with some boxing workouts. If you haven't noticed, I'm wearing the Tims, taking it back to the old school days, you know, where the greats like Joe Lewis, some of the old school champs used to do, get busy with that cardio conditioning out in the wilderness with the Tims on. So let's get some strength and conditioning training going. Y'all ready? Road to Submen is five. Let's do it. Like, you know, all the battle rappers out there, got your cardio up. 
another key component for success at Summer Madness 5 for both fans and battle rappers alike competing on the card for the fans you don't want to end up like battle rap slave get your running game on get that roll working this is a boxes bread and butter right here is what you got to do you want to get your cardio right I don't want to see no no disrespect to the homie I'm a big fan but Tay Rock at Redemption look like he's about to Pull the chest and yak. I don't want to see nobody gassing out in between their bars. Feeling like they about to start vomiting on stage. I don't want nobody gassing out right before they hit that punchline. Slipping up with a choke and then ruining their whole performance. Losing around. I don't want to see none of that. Everybody got to be in shape. Prepare for this. Charlie Clips, man. You the homie. I see you got your push-up game on point. You good with the upper body, but... Pause for everyone out there thinking that type of funny stuff. But uh, it's your cardio update, my brother. Hollow to Don. He took a big, <coughs> big care into developing his, his cardio before he battled Lux. And it was a really big factor in the battle. So Eclipse, man, if you're preparing to the fullest, you better be doing this road work, baby. Let's get it. Long day one of the Summer Madness 5 warm up, man. I'm really doing the best I can to get in the proper shape for these bars and punches. Y'all seen me, Prospect Park, man, putting in a lot of work. A lot, a lot of work. You know, but it's time to really get into these battles. Whew. Gotta catch my breath. First one I'm gonna start off with, man, out here, you know what I'm saying? Nighttime on the block, posted up, you know what I'm saying? In these streets. You know what I'm saying? It's how we get down. It's light skin. I glow. I glow in the dark. Um, the first battle I'm going to get down with, John John the Don versus Mr. Wavy. Interesting, interesting match. Um, not one that I was personally expecting to see on a Summer Madness 5 card, you know. Not saying that it's not worthy, but just something that I didn't see coming. Um, seen mixed reactions to that battle from fans online. Um, in my personal opinion, you know, the more I think about it, the more I like it. I think it's it's a battle that could actually produce a big hit, you know. Uh, Mr. Wavy and K-Sham was one of the better ones from, um, in my opinion, from uh, from Rookies versus Vets. Mr. Wavy showed out, showed out, you know what I'm saying. It took a while to heat up in the first round, but once he came with that shotgun and a pants leg, I'm walking like a zombie with it. He had that professional, like, dance move swag but he was on some choreography I, I can't move like that but um man he, he had me believing in the zombies for a second you know what I mean just oh have y'all heard that hello hello no, I think somebody's dead hold, come on hold on hello hello Hello? Who's there? Who's there? Stars! Ah! 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 Okay. Okay. I'm back in my crib. Things got a little bit too real outside, man. I'm not sure exactly what I saw, but I was talking about 
Mr. Wavy Zombie Bars, man. Walking like a zombie with it. And I could have sworn, man. So a creature just came up behind me, man, talking about stars. I felt like I was in Resident Evil 3 for a second. I made it out alive, man. I'm back in the crib. But... Oh, God. That was a close call, man. Oh, let, me just, let, me get, let me get a second. I gotta get control of myself. Oh. I'll be all right. Just give me one second. I'll be all right. <sighs> Sorry about that, y'all. I don't know what happened. I just, you know, I got overcome with emotion for a second. It was a pretty crazy ordeal, but I'm good. I'm good. I, I shook it off. Um, I decided that, you know, the best way to conclude my discussion of a uh, John John and Mr. Wavy, especially with all them zombie bars, man. There's really zombies outside. Might as well just do it the safe way. John John, if you're taking note. My advice, this is the proper way to prepare for them zombie bars. All right, so I decided after all the mayhem outside, I'm just gonna prepare for these walking like a zombie with it bars the way John John should and that's by throwing on some Call of Duty Nazi zombies and get my kills up. So John John if you pay paying attention to this man, throw on the zombie, you know, whatever game you got, Resident Evil, whatever the case man, get your kill streak up man, they coming for you. But to keep it short, I'm not, like I said, I'm not really out here to do predictions to say who I think is going to win, who's going to lose. At the end of the day, I'll let the battlers prove that on the day of the battle. Um, it's a battle of the mind. It's not a battle of physical ability. It's not like you're trying to watch, you know, Bruce Lee square up with some Joe the Plumber off the street. You know, you're not, you're not watching, let me throw it back to Chuck Liddell. Squaring off with some random saucy, you know, 120 pound dude in the bar. Like, this is this is battle rap. This is a battle of the mind. So, you can't ever tell me that this person can't beat that person. You can't. Period. Period. Can't say that. You, can, you never know what a man's mind is capable of. Or a woman, for that matter. With that being said, I think it's going to be a dope battle. And I think that both men have the ability to beat the other. Reason being, John John, we know, he's a vet in the game. He, you know, shed light on the talents of the PG cats in a lot of ways, you know. I want to see John John get back to his hunger from SM2, that Hitman Holla gave me the shot, so I'm taking it. Close range. Like, I want to see that John John return, you know, that, that ferociousness. He was, he was hungry in that battle, and you can really tell. Like, when he was spitting, you felt that, that, that will to win, you know. Not taking away from what he did against Reed Dallas. What he did was, you know, amazing. He caught a clear body. You can't even argue that one. Getting kill streaks for lore out here. But um, at the end of the day, Reed Dollars, with all due respect, he wasn't. He he walked on stage in a casket. If you ask me, he walked on stage in a body bag. You know. Oh, I'm about to get smoked. Yeah, I got smoked. Oh, I'm still up. Nah, I got smoked. Um, you know, he walked on stage in a body bag, man. Reed Dollars wasn't properly prepped for the evolution of what this battle rap sport has really become. And with that being said, you know, John John's about to go up against someone who we know can fight back. You know, K Sean has been on the heater for a minute. He smoked Verb. He's been killing it with the two on twos, whether he's been getting emotional or not, you know. He's been putting in work. And at the end of the day, Wavy, whether you think he won or not, he ain't do bad at all. Period. Facts. He did not do bad. So John John's going up against someone who could potentially give him some problems. At the end of the day, I do think that what John John said is correct. Wavy, you can't be taking half a round to heat up, bro. You got to come out swinging for the fences, get that first round KO, you know, be hungry like Mike Tyson. Don't, don't try to set him up for six rounds, little jabs, and then when he gets tired, you know, nah, bro, just come out and try to tear the roof off. Period. One other thing about Wavy that people were, you know, saying in the com some YouTube comments that I kind of had an issue with. People were talking about Wavy doesn't deserve an SM5, you know, stage, this, is that, and the third. You could argue maybe he shouldn't be on it, you know, if you want. But at the end of the day, when it comes down to loyalty on the URL, 
I feel like Wavy's face should be in the death, like a picture next to the definition of loyalty when it comes to URL. Because I remember back in the days, you know, during the whole PG contract drama, Wavy was a dude who never once even came close to violating or even attempting to violate his contract. Like Wavy, after his Pres Mafia battle, he didn't battle for a mad long. Mad long. That dude, you would see him at events, but on the stage, he didn't battle for the longest. The Prez Mafia battle took forever to drop, and Wavy sat patiently waiting, knew his time would come. And, you know, he had some battles that canceled in between whatever opponents didn't show up. But at the end of the day, Wavy took it. He said, hey, man, I'm doing this for a reason. He got his shot on Rookies versus Vets. He proved his worth. And now he's here on Smack. I mean, off of the loyalty alone, I dig the fact that Smack and them are giving him an SM look. Why not, you know? That's all I got to say on this battle, man. Get a couple more headshots. Move on to Big T and Shotgun and Shug. See what's popping with the blue blockers and the shoe shockers. You know what I'm saying? Be right back. Boom! Alrighty, so I just finished up showing John John the Don how to properly prepare for Mr. Wavy at Summer Madness 5 with some Nazi zombies. While I'm in full-fledged gamer mode at the moment, I haven't played video games in ages. But since I'm in gamer mode, I figure let's have some fun with Big T and Shotgun Shug, you know? Zombies, Nazi zombies, that was a couple years ago. Let's go a little further back. Let's dig into the essence of Big T's very unique style. It's Foo Flockers and Boo Bakas and Juju Chakas and all the other gun sounds he can make and his air guns galore. He's, you know, this is style of battle rap. It's, it's one of the most unique styles in all of battle rap. So let's let's see, you know, where Big T might have gotten the influences from. It's gonna be fun. Take a little trip with me down memory lane. Let's go. Alright, for everybody who grew up with a Super Nintendo, I know you can appreciate this. Super Metroid, alright? Let's not get it twisted, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of male heroes out there, but Super Metroid, Samus, she's one of the OGs of the boot blockers, alright? Her, her, her arsenal of weapons was just on fleek, you know, for the 1990s. She was a beast with it. Missiles, rocket launches, charge up, plasma shots, whatever the case. Can't knock a woman for her hustle, man. She was one of the OGs of the Chalaka boot blockers and all that stuff like that. Um, but I don't know. I feel as though maybe there might be another another uh, form of inspiration for Big T. Hold on. Let's check this one out. I mean, what more needs to be said? I mean, Mega Man? Come on. The arm cannon, that's Big T. That's all about Big T right there. Big T, you know, he's, he's, he's the 2015 embodiment of what Mega Man stood for. You know, Mega Man Zero, whatever, whatever, whatever numbers. Just the essence of Mega Man, that's Big T right there. But um, I think that we could find maybe one more. One more that really shows what the matchup of Shotgun Shug versus Big T is going to look like. So let's check so this out. We're going to start on Big T. He's back and Shug up. What's Shug going to do? Oh, Chalaka Boo, Chalaka Boo, hurting him. Should fight him back. Oh, Big T, what are you gonna do, baby? He got you down to your last breath. Now, I know y'all can appreciate this. I think anyone who grew up in the 90s, and shoot, even to this day, I mean, you got all the different, you know, remix variations of the game. Street Fighter is a classic, whether you played it in Marvel vs. Capcom, you know, with the certain characters they put in the game, or you played the original, you played some joint on PS2, PS3, PS4, Xbox, GameCube, I don't even know if Street Fighter came out for all them systems back in the days, but at the end of the day, everyone knows Street Fighter. Facts. And I think E Honda versus Zangief is a perfect way to portray Big T versus Shotgun Shug. You don't know what could happen. It's two big dudes, man. A lot can go down. Shug's aggressive. Zangief get them a body slam. You know, just gritty. Ah, it's a Zangief all the way. Then Big T, he's E Honda. He's he's coming. He's, he's karate chopping. He's he's gonna be my form of karate chopping. So I'm about to knock the camera down. He's wilding out. Just. Hand gestures, chalaka booze everywhere, man. I mean, what what more needs to be said? This is the embodiment. Just a word of advice for Big T, man. Since you're so unorthodox with your style, with your punches, with your setups, I think that 
Worst case scenario, bro. Worst case scenario. You need to take a pause. Look out to the crowd when you're on that stage. Summer Man is five. If you feel the pressure building up and you feel as though Shook just might edge it. Take a second, moment of silence. Put your hands together and pray to the reach God. What that mean? Because I reach and spit fire. Dot. Oh man. Good morning, everybody. Rise and grind. It's a beautiful sunny day out here. Oh man, last night was a pretty wild night. It's some battle rap blogging. Got chased by a zombie, but I ended on a good note. You know, tapped into my inner gamer, Xbox 360, Super Nintendo, Street Fighter, the works. It was it's a fun day for uh, old school video game systems. Um, today's pretty busy, so I'm probably only be only be able to get to this uh, one battle um, during the day. I'll have to continue later on tonight, but um, you know, let's get right to it, man. For this one, I got something special for y'all. Oh man, shake it out. Tight. Oh, by the way, man, uh, pardon. You know, I'll have the fresh lineup. You know, Pablo will return pretty soon and get get this all tamed again. You know, literally, I'm off the wake up. Like, no pick out, nothing. My joint is just looking like crazy. Hexagons, octagons, pentagons, etc. Like, it's just shapes in my head, looking like Lego blocks. But uh, side man. Like I said, Pablo, you gonna return. So, Miss Hustle and Official, man, you know, usually it's ladies first, but uh, this battle is crazy, so I didn't want to, you know, get to it too soon. This battle, in my opinion, I, I ain't got too much to say other than I think this is going to be, in all honesty, in terms of back and forth clashes, the battle of the night. Facts, you know, shout out to Debo, Queen of the Ring, shout out to Smack and everybody, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the ladies who are putting on for battle rap and earning a spot, you know, on the big stage, on the Super Bowl of battle rap. Usually you don't see women in Super Bowls unless they in cheerleader outfits. So shout out to y'all for really doing it big. But uh, for this battle, man, as I ain't got too much to say, really. It's just it's a crazy match. I just want to work on getting my punching power up uh, to match uh, what I'm going to see from uh, official in this hustle. So I had to uh, grab this dumbbell and get these reps in, you know. Uh, both of them chicks, man. I don't care if you're talking. They a little female. They both pack a <clears throat> mean punch. They get they get it shaking. They tear the roof off. <clears throat> Just as much, if not more, than the some of the best dudes with haymakers in battle rap, period. You know? Um, official man, salute to her. She's shown out. She's had one of the fastest rises in all of battle rap, if you ask me. She's just going from zero to one hundred real quick. Real, real quick. Shout out to Hustle also for holding down that 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 queen spot you know for such a long time whether you think that she lost certain battles along the way she's held down a spot in terms of respect that you can't deny so shout out to miss hustle for that she's one of the top predators in the jungle when it comes to the women and when it comes to the men in general i honestly if you're gonna do male versus female yo bruh matter of fact i'm saying it right now official and miss hustle versus dna and kshawn nwx Yo, fellas, I'm a big fan of y'all, but I don't know if you want that work. Official and Hustle, that's a team right there. I put them two up against any of the homies, any dudes in battle rap, and I think them two shorties will put on a show. Oh, man, get these reps. I said, man, I get this punch power up because, like I said, they're going to be throwing some haymakers and building going to be shaking. Ladies, same thing I said to the guys. Your car, I mean, y'all cardio seems to always be straight, you know what I'm saying? Y'all don't be catching, <sighs> I don't know what it is. Dudes be the ones that be about to vomit, but chicks, same thing. Get your mind right, get your cardio right. I don't want to see no choking. Ugh, I'm about to yak. Just, just keep it together, ladies. Have a great show. It's going to be the battle of the night, in my opinion. Back and forth clash. I'm just looking forward to it. I'm not gonna, I can't call a victor on that. I can go either way easy. You know, official come with that jazz type material. If Hustle come with that Gaddis or that Jazz material minus the choke, even though it got edited out, you know. But I think I would say the Gaddis material is better from Hustle, in my opinion. So it's going to be a classic. I think, like I said, out of all the battles, that's going to be the one 
when chick want to watch back and forth, even matchup, that's going to be the one to watch. Salute to y'all ladies. Let's get these reps. 1,000. 1,001, 1,002, 1,000. It's that light skin weight. What's up everybody? Apologize for last night. I'm talking about shotguns in the pants like walking like a zombie with it and zombie really popped up behind me I mean the camera stopped you yeah, I didn't see but I was really chased by a zombie like I don't know what you want me to do if you see a zombie in real life like I did last night you'd run for the hills too so I apologize for that you know the light skin is still alive I'm okay um, I made sure there's no zombie out zombies out here tonight so you know what I'm saying we, we good to continue with this vlog I'm working out all day as you've seen get my workout on breaking down these battles but um I figured why not you know Hold down, you know, post up with some planks, you know what I'm saying? Work my core, my full body, while, uh, you know, I, I break down the T-top and T-Rex back. I ain't gonna take too long, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know long I can hold this plank, this plank for, you know what I'm saying? I'm not the strongest dude out there, but, you know, we'll see what's, we'll see what's up. Uh, T-top and T-Rex, man. Interesting. Um, I think a lot of people found it interesting that T-Rex even still found a slot on Summer Madness card. At the end of the day, look, Rex is... A living legend in battle rap whether or not he's tarnished his legacy you know that's up for the people to decide he may not be the same t-rex that he used to be but he's still t-rex at the end of the day he still has the capability to come out with that you know 25k i kill it for real you know type of you know material um if rex would take pick up a pen and write some fresh bars and really go in and zone in for his opponent who knows what Rex is capable of doing, you know what I'm saying? T-Top, he didn't have a bad showing versus Shug, you know what I'm saying? It just wasn't his best, and as good as Top was, Shug was just that much better. He was on his A game, you know what I'm saying? Dragon Ball Z, Shug was Super Saiyan 3, and T-Top just learned KO Ken, something like that, you know what I'm saying? He he did all right, you know, but T-Top is good. He won 106, he's proven himself. I do think that his uh, bars, talking about his personal life, hustling on the blocks, mother doing this and that, all the dope lines. It's cool, but it has been a little played out. I think he needs to direct his pen more towards attacking T-Rex personally, and not just necessarily personally, but just with bars for T-Rex, rather than talking about bars about himself and how he hustles. We know, no disrespect, bro, but we know. Um, Rex, man, I hope that Rex, this is, you know, I've asked people this question a few times, and it's because I partially believe it. I think that Rex, as great as he is, He's been great for so long until battle rap evolved into, you know, a new place with the material, with the lyricism and everything. And I think that Rex's problem lately is the fact that he doesn't try to adapt to the way that the game is changing, the way it's growing. Um, and I feel as though, damn, sound like there was just a car crash out down the block. I feel as though if Rex were to really apply himself and try to open up his mind to craft the material in a new way to evolve, with how the game has evolved, he could definitely put in work against T-Top. Um, I don't really want to call it. Go either way. See what happens. You know, I'm just hoping that it's entertaining. And another thing with Rex, all love, brother. All love. You know, I've interviewed him on talk some number of times. All, all love. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, Rex, man, don't worry about time. Don't worry about time limits. If you agree to two minutes and Beasley and I'm letting it go for two and a half, cool, bro. What you should be doing is worrying about crafting such strong material so that your opponent is worried about time you shouldn't worry about time if your stuff is fire then your opponent should be the one like yo stop the clock stop the clock he's cooking me you know what i'm saying stop with all that yo but we we, we agreed to two minutes i mean i understand that bro i understand you want the time limits but people want to hear these bars bro so if you say two minutes and it goes 230 let it rock fan don't worry about time limits worry about putting in work to try to catch a body if rex doesn't come with some real material his name could still get on books for big venues, big events, but people are not going to want to see him. Keep it a stat. I'm going to keep it a stat. Um, let's see what happens, though. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a gritty battle, street bars all around. Who knows, man? Who knows? Uh, I hope it goes well. That's all I can say. But, you know, let me finish out this plank real quick. You know what I mean? It's kind of late outside. I'm getting kind of tired. You know, uh, hopefully the Rex and, and T-Top battle is more entertaining than me. You know, trying to plank. The feet, the feet, trigonometry. The feet, 
Sí. Planking out here all night. She's even stronger than I thought. Force is strong with the light skin, I guess. Oh well. Oh, since I'm out here, I guess I might as well finish up my predictions. Get to my workouts and break down these battles. Sorry, y'all. I know you saw me get off the ground like just two seconds ago, and now I'm back here on the ground. But uh, I got something I gotta address real quick before I break down these battles. Hey, yo, Clips. I saw you doing your push-ups. Summer Madness Five trailer. Think you got some strength? How about this? I challenge you, brother. Right now, like an ice bucket challenge. I'm doing Charlie Clips push-up challenge. I issued a challenge for you, Clips. Think you can beat this number? Let's see if you can. Let's go. Ready? One. We're off to a good start. Two. We're getting it done. Let's work. Let's work, beloved. Yeah, my arm's tight, but uh, let's get to these battles. It's on you, Clips. Can you do better than three? I don't know. It's a lot of weight, man. All right, everybody. So we saw that my uh, push-up challenge attempt for Charlie Clips kind of backfired. You know what I'm saying? I seem to have gassed myself out. All the light skin powers in me just seem to fade away after three. I blame it on doing a full night of planking. Um, you know what I'm saying? What could I say? My muscles were a little burnt out. But, uh, you know, the workout continues. Shout out to Logan Lux for sure. Uh, go cop that, by the way. Um, might not be able to do some push-ups, but let's see if we can get some pull-ups in. You know what I'm saying? It's a little harder to work out, but, you know, it's shook it out a little bit. A little hard, a little shape, you know what I'm saying? So, let's see, let's see what we can do right now. Break down this back. All right, so. Good start. Loaded Lux versus Charlie Clips, man. It's, uh, it's a battle that a lot of people do. What up, man? Shout out to the homie over the sidelines, scoping the, the flex, you know what I'm saying? That isolation today. Yeah, but Loaded Lux, Charlie Clips, man. It's, it's a battle that a lot of people have been wanting to see. Um, Charlie Clips, regardless of the fact that he battles frequently, you know what I'm saying? He battles as frequently as pretty much any notable active uh, battler does. He's not, you know, one of the, the big names like Lux, Mook, even Hollow, even though Hollow battles more frequently as well. Um, who only battles once a year, once every two years, once every seven full moons, something like that. Um, you know, Clips is top tier, considerably the GOAT, and he stays active, you know what I'm saying? Um, so you gotta respect it. Loaded Lux making his return, another Harlem versus Harlem match. Um, Lux has a lot to prove coming off of this battle, rematch and move. I was in the building, it wasn't an official battle rap crowd, that's why, you know, Smack was on Hot 97 talking about don't count. You know, the usual Smack URL thing, if it's not on the URL, don't count. Um, but to be honest, I mean, the crowd wasn't a battle rap crowd. I was in there, a lot of people around me, yo, you hit your buttons gonna battle some guy named Hollow the Don. Like, are you kidding me, bro? So, I mean, the type of stuff that Lux had to spit wasn't well received by that crowd. So I think coming back home to smack URL, Lux is gonna have major success. Um, one thing I gotta say, man, for the people out there, you know, oh, I can't wait till he gets back to the gun bars, do rag. If, if you're tired of his preacher bars, then you should be tired of any battle rapper out here who does some variation of preacher bars. Like, regardless of the saga's religion or religious preferences, 
you should be tired of every single word he spits. You know what I'm saying? If you're tired of preacher-esque bars. I'm, I'm that strong that I can, I can do isolation and still do the quotes. Lux's style is what Lux's style is. You can't have everyone just revert back to gun bars and street, you know, grittiness. You know what I'm saying? Lux is still from the streets, of course. You know what I'm saying? He still has that essence in him. But, you know, I've spoken to the dude on numerous occasions. He's a person whose mind is elevated to a, a level where it's like, yo, man, I've evolved from that. That's that's not what I'm, I want to talk about no more, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, who knows? Maybe Lux will just say, screw it. I don't want to have another murder mook situation happen. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to get back to the hoodie. The 106 Lux, you know what I'm saying? The Lux to battle, the miles and all that. We'll see what happens, though. Charlie Clips, man. Um... I think that clips, clips could obviously, I mean, people are going to be judging this, like, oh, Lux, clips, whoever won, but clips, as long as he shows out, in my opinion, still, he, he can't really lose, in my opinion, it was kind of the same thing with Hollow to Don, like, people, a lot of people still, you know, they gave the battle to Lux on cam, I remember in the building, live, people were going nuts for Hollow, at the end of the, the battle, the vast majority of the people in the crowd were screaming, hollow, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, he had love for real in there. So I think it's kind of one of those situations where Clips, he can't necessarily lose. Even if he loses technically, it's not really a loss for Clips. I mean, you're battling loaded Lux, bro. At the same time, he could, low, you could reverse that and be like, yo, time out, but Clips has put in more work for battle rap over the years, so Lux should be honored to battle Clips. You could look at it like that. Um, in terms of the approach, I think Clips, you know, I mean, Lux was saying in the trailer, you know, you gotta rap. You know, you're gonna face me, you gotta rap. And that's true, that's why everyone calls out Loaded Lux. That's why Danny Myers calls him out. Chilla Jones, everyone calls out Lux. That's why a lot of times, all respect to Hollow, he's one of the greats without a doubt, but you don't hear people call out Hollow because no disrespect. Lux's pen game is held at a much higher regard than Hollow's. Hollow does amazing things with performance, versatility, his angles that he, he takes and everything like that, but when it comes down to just straight up pen game, you can't necessarily hold Hollow to Don's pen up to Loaded Lux. No disrespect again, just saying the honest truth. So, for Clips, even though Lux is saying, yo, you gotta rap, you gotta rap, I think Clips knows the way to beat this dude it's gonna, of course, I mean, he's battle rapping, so he's gonna rap, you know what I'm saying? Clips, Clips got bars, man, he can come with it, whether you think that it's complex or it's simple or whatever, and it's predictable. Clips got bars, man, he, he, he gonna come locked and loaded. But I think he knows it, just like Hollow did, you gotta take various angles with him. You can't just come with this one straightforward approach. You gotta use a lot of energy, as Hollow did. Like I said, with them, them road work clips, get that road work, get that cardio up, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to hit a thousand, by the way, feeling feeling good right now, rejuvenated. Um, and that's why Clips in the trailer was already going with the comedy, the comedy angle, the, the you know, preaching to, to the chick, talking about, what's, what's ass backwards, that was hilarious, you know what I'm saying, I think Clips already knows that one of his angles that he could use to beat Lux is a comical side, come, come with some comedy, if, if he has any personals, hey, use them, I know Lux, from the last time I spoke to him about the whole murder move pre-match, he said, ain't gonna be so kind next time. You should hold that same regard for Clips. If Clips got any type of dirt on them, Lux should expect that to come out the closet. And vice versa. One question that I do have. By the way, pardon this construction. People disrespecting me like the old man did dose in his backyard blog. But side though, we keep it working. But uh, I wonder if Loaded Lux will even attempt to use the angle about Clips' pop being an alleged niche air quotes um you know rex pretty much didn't say anything about clips pops at all other than the fact that he's an alleged snitch but at the end of the day i mean charlie's rebuttal was so powerful that you have to wonder if any opponent can even really use his pops in an effective way now but at the end of the day loaded lux is almost surgical when it comes to breaking down personal stuff about a person's life, especially family members who have, you know, somewhat of a negative history. So, I wonder if Lux will be able to do to Charlie what T-Rex was not able to do in the slightest bit, um, and really shed light on Charlie's pops. Who knows if Lux knows more to the story 
know about Clips' life. That's one thing I am interested in seeing. So, but um, I think that Clips should not try to go bar for bar with Lux, which I don't think he'll do. I think he should try to be versatile. Do what Clips does best, man. Freestyle. If he could pull off a third round Rex freestyle versus Lux, psh, you know how incredible that would be? And regardless of what may have happened to Clips versus Sharon and X amount of other battlers that you feel beat him, at the end of the day, if Clips could do something incredible like that, or do like a big cannon at RBE, shout out to Big Cannon. Freestyle voluntarily the whole second round. Psh, hey man, could be great things for the brother in terms of his legacy. Um, it was an interesting battle. I can't wait to see who wins. That's all I can really say. Um, not gonna call it. It's one of those things I think it could go either way. I think on camera it's gonna be pretty hard for Clips to win though. Because to break down bars, those people look for on camera a lot of times bars. And to break them down, yeah, it might be a little difficult for Clips, but I just wanna see what happens. It's gonna be a fun match. Take it over some dips. Talk about Calico and uh, Tay Rock real quick. See if I get thousand dips in the day too. Banged out about 840 so far. Straight, no breaks. I'm headed for that thousand for the day. Let's get into this Tay Rock and Calico. Pretty much, I think that this battle has the potential to be the biggest classic out of the guys when it comes to just a back and forth even match. I think the aggression for the both of them and just the grittiness of what they bring to the table when it comes to just like them raw street bars. I think that this could be the one to watch. As incredible as Lux and Clips may possibly be, I feel as though just stylistically, this is the one like for the guys that you really want to see. Um, I saw Rosenberg Raw on uh, hiphopisreal.com talking about how he thinks that maybe Tay Rock his run has to end sometime and he thinks that this might be the battle where he just like hits a roadblock. I'm not entirely sure about that. Tay Rock has proven himself to be one of the most consistent battlers on Smack URL for a while. For a while, man. Um, every time you vote against Rock, you kind of get left with an upset. Even if the, you know, when the camera, the, the footage drops, fans might have been gassing stuff out a little bit. At the end of the day, he still puts on the show, especially in house. Tay Rock is a monster in the building. But get your win together, man. Get your win together. Get that conditioning right. Calico, man, it's a different animal than Briz. No, no shots to Briz, but it's a different animal. We all know that. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to see you stopping the. <laughs> that ain't gonna fly, bro. Get that. Get that nip in the butt quick, fast. You'll have a good night. Calico Man, um, you know, we battled Hitman on Snoop's Gladiator School. Did his thing. It's kind of back to that old Calico a little bit. Um, you know, when he battled Pat Stay, you know, if he got 20,000 for that battle, then hey, bro, salute to you. I mean, at the end of the day, he came with material to rap about. You know, he gave him something to watch, you know, when he pushed. Pat's head back or whatever. Even though me personally, I thought that whole situation was overly hyped. But at the end of the day, he still, he mushed him. But you know, battle rap isn't a test to see who's tougher on the stage when it comes to actually getting down to action. You know what I'm saying? It's just about who's the better battler, all around performer, who's the better at uh, individual using angles, lyricism, etc. So, you know, I wasn't as thrilled about the whole Pat State thing as everyone else was. And me personally, I thought Pat won that battle if you just judge it by a battle. I don't care about authenticity, believability, whatever. I felt as though for a battle, Pat won that one. But, um, Calico, I don't think he'll come to play like that. You know, no disrespect to KOTD, but I think that he has one of those mentalities where if it ain't on smack, you don't count. Now, granted, you know, for a gladiator school scenario, that's Snoop Dogg, that's big. So you want, it to, you want to put on a good show. But, um, I think that when it comes to battle on smack, Calico will come. Great A material. And uh, if he gets back to that old school, you know, Cal battled Alpha. Everyone from the old school era, you know what I'm saying? It could be, it could be a show. And who knows, he could actually dethrone Tay Rock. It also depends on how the Summer Madness crowd feels for Calico. You know what I'm saying? Big crowds to smack. 
sometimes here and there they might be a little 50 50 for some of this material even with rex they like they liked a lot of it but i remember you know been having some difficult moments you know where he had to work through booze and you know people trying to shut down his his flow so we'll see what happens man tay rock and calico i think it's going to be the biggest classic of the uh the male battle this on summer madness five all right guys so i've pretty much broken down almost the entire card for this next one i decided let's have some real real fun with that i took you back to the super nintendo you know i took you to an xbox uh 360 with, with, with Nazi zombies, E Honda versus Zangief, aka Big T versus Shotgun Shug. Did a failed attempt at a Charlie Clips push up challenge. Just doing crazy, a thousand dips with Tay Rock and, uh, and Calico. You know, got chased by a zombie and everything. But for this next one, let's have some real fun. Chess and Steams versus DNA and K Sean. We all saw what could have been. A true classic in the two-on-two -two, uh, battle rap category um, the one round one and a half round got cut short due to some unnecessary tension on the stage some 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 angry tempers you know everyone jokes on chess being you know a young high school kid or whatever but at the end of the day what I saw on stage and, and instead of calling it like you know a rumble or a scuffle or something for real more it looked more to me like like a little playground brawl of sorts. It was like, you know, kids in a sandbox in a jungle gym. You know, angry at each other. You know, you got you got tagged while playing tag. You got hit with the dodgeball in a game of dodgeball. Something like that. It was a playground, you know, little little tussle match. A youngster event. It wasn't nothing serious. So, a playground type of, you know, angry scenario. Why not go and show these guys that they could actually have fun in a playground? So let's hit the sprinklers and take it from there. Let's go. Oh, yeah. I'm all wet and stuff. You know, this is all my time, man. It's the sprinklers, baby. It's the sprinklers. You don't get to do this every day. Look at this. This is sprinklers. Look at that. Getting all wet out here. You guys, you fighting. I'm trying to scrap in the playground. Come on, fellas. In case you didn't even know, we on a seesaw, baby. We on a seesaw. Look at this fun you could have. Ain't no need to be scrapping, fellas. Cut it out. Look at this, fellas. Instead of fighting, what am I doing? Climbing on top of childish structures. You know what I'm saying? Let's, 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 let's boogie down this slide real quick, man. Let's boogie down the slide. Whee! All right, next stop, man. This is some new school. This is a tiki barber type playground. I don't even know what he was thinking when he designed this. It's good times out here, man. No need for violence, fellas. Just take it, take it one, one playground at a time, you know? My feet's too wet from the, 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 the sprinklers. I can't even climb up this weird structure right here. I would if I could, but you know what I'm saying? I'm not seven years old anymore, so it's actually harder for an adult, believe it or not. Let's try to get up top of this man come on look at this matter of fact i'm gonna show i'm gonna show you how the new school for those who don't know is this turned on all right it's turned on we're about to get to it oh they all lit up oh put the next one it's up top oh, i got another one you guys get the picture. Come on, fellas. There's no need for the violence. Round two, just chill out, all right? Now that I talk about the battle. In my opinion, well, I'm gonna lay down, I'm gonna need a break. I'm gonna lay down and spin a little bit. In case you ain't, I'm on this wheel. So I'm just gonna spin around. But uh, Kayshawn, man, much respect. You get it shaking. You're a top tier for a reason, but bro, chill out, man. Right after the, the chess scenario, you was over in Detroit trying to throw hands with Marv One and, and Quest McCody. Like, what's up, bro? You you a vet. You know this don't got to go into a physical scenario. Um, at the end of the day, I don't think that what Chess did, no one thinks what Chess did was worthy of, you know, a fight breaking out or, like I said, a playground scuffle. But at the end of the day, you know, things happen, tensions flare, man. Hold on one second. Let's take it down this slide. 
Oh, that was awesome. That was amazing. Kids these days, they have the best, best playground structures. It's awesome. But yeah, man, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't necessary to take it to that level, start scrapping or trying to scrap. But like I said, things happen, tensions flare. It is what it is. You live and you learn, you move on. Um, based off of what I saw from the actual battle, I mean, I gotta say, I believe in the power of NWX, just like Reach God. I believe in the Reach God. I, I believe in, in NWX, man. I have no other option but to believe in them. That make you do a double take? Pfft, that was crazy. Bruh, that was crazy. I mean, they're just so seasoned. The chemistry is so strong between DNA and Kayshawn on that stage. Whether people want to say they just became friends like a day ago or whatever. That's all, yeah. End of the day, they nasty with it. They know what they're doing. Chess and Steams, they showed heavy potential. I want to see them actually balance the punch lines between them a little bit better. Because I felt as though, for some reason, the way they structured their rounds, it was more geared towards Chess to have, like, the real, like, punches. So I want to see them balance it a little bit. You know, DNA and Kayshawn, they both, they make sure each of them have a punch to throw. Get some crowd reaction. And let's say Kayshawn is the one with all the actual structured punches. You know DNA, you can rely on him to freestyle and just make people go crazy. So it's like with Chess and Steams, I want to see them balance it a little better. Give Steams some more of the, the haymakers, the punches, you know what I'm saying? Um, Casey, I know I'm doing the know I'm saying, know I'm saying. Hard body. Smacks, you're real, baby. Chess and Steams, y'all got to make sure that y'all have your material memorized. I know Chess, you were good this time. There was no... No heaving, no yakking, no nothing. But um, steams, not to put pressure on you, bro, but it's a two-on-two. -two. So, you know, if if one piece of the two two-part puzzle, you know, is out of place, can't get it together, the whole thing falls. So at the end of the day, both of y'all just make sure y'all have y'all rounds together, have y'all things structured and everything. Again, if, if y'all got the freestyle ability to, to pick up, you know, a failed, you know, verse or whatever, go ahead and do it. But if not, get it together. However, this is the one time where I will say prediction of sorts. I got to rock with uh, NWX. I want to see Chess and Steams do great, though. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm fans of both of them from the new school. Man, I think that they both have major potential. You know, they both got classics under their belt. And, you know, they've been out for like a day. Nah, I'm joking. But for real, though, they, they both nice, you know, for real, for real. So um, I want to see them both do great. And, yo, if they come out with the dub, they ain't going to be like, I'm going to be mad. Like, ah. Oh putting my life i'm betting the house on it i ain't betting the house on nothing bro i just want to see a good battle but um if they do if they if they win sh sh salute <laughs> do it you know y'all younger y'all gotta get y'all dubs up and even if you take l's you gotta make sure you don't take bad l's so i hope y'all both do good i want to see a good battle Kayshawn, take a xanax i don't know uh, it's been a while since I've been in the college party life, so I don't even know what the downer drugs are these days. But take a Xanax, bro. I know Xanax can get you kind of chilled out. You know, take a take a little a little sleep pill, a little elephant tranquilizer, something. Cause you be turned up to a thousand. Ain't no need for that, bro. If chest get in your face, if you get in his face, you can't expect him not to get in your face back. You know what I'm saying? So just relax, bro. Just take it, take a chill pill. Have a good battle. Hope is hope is good. Let's take it one more time down the slide, because I mean, damn, man, that got me tapped into my childhood, though. Summer Madness, where are you? Summer Madness 5, where are you? I can't wait any longer. Been out here blogging for so long. Summer Madness, save me. Save me. Save me. Oh. 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 I need help. Water. Oh, God. I'm burning up. Oh, summer madness. Where are you? Help me. Oh, God. 
the anticipation, the anticipation for the big day, it's just, it's overwhelming. Ugh. I've used up all my energy Ugh. filming this vlog for you people. You probably won't even watch it all. I can't wait any longer. It's taking my life force by the second. It's draining me. I need a sensu beam, but I just ran out after lifting those two pound weights from official and Miss Hustle. <sighs> Lux? Lux, if you could hear me, man. I was just joking, man. I was trolling. I, I, I secretly wanted you to win, man. I, I don't care about Charlie Clips, please, beloved. If you can hear me, I call up on you. Lux, save me. I don't know how much longer I could last. The anticipation is just too intense. I need summer madness now. Oh, Lux. Oh, Lux. Oh. Beloved! Thank you, beloved! Uh, there's only one last thing to do. Uh, uh, must get the one ring. The one ring that rules them all. There it is. I must reach. Save me, reach God. Reach God. Give me the power to reach. I need you. Uh, 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 I got the ring. But before I go, I just, you know, Charlie, man. Shout out to Charlie Clips. With that s. You on to something, man. I think I gotta take it outside real quick and see if I can put that to the test. Oh my God, Queen. Beloved, could I talk to you for a second? Queen. Oh my God, Queen. Queen, Beloved. Beloved, just wait one second, baby. Could I talk to you? Oh my god. Oh my god. Love it, Ed. Queen. Queen. You can handle this anyway. Baby girl, slow down for a second. Could I talk to you? Beloved, Ed. Beloved, Ed. Oh my god. But damn, that ass, though. Clips, you really on to something there, brother. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the Hughes Road to Summer Madness 5, an epic journey. I think, personally, it was a truly epic journey. It taught me a lot about myself, you know, self-reflection and just my inner grit to, to withstand, you know, the anticipation, waiting for Summer Madness 5. But um, I want to end this on a serious note. All trolling aside, for real, for real, right? By now, anyone who's a legit battle rap fan has pretty much heard the unfortunate news that, you know, befell one of RBE's top dogs. Um, I personally had the luxury of interviewing and just meeting in general, whether it's on camera, off camera, just virtually everyone, you know, in battle rap. And you know, it's a lot of people I still have yet to meet, but I've met a lot of people and spoke with a lot of people since I started, you know, my former job. And um, this guy, you know, is honestly one of the genuinely best dudes that I've met, you know, in the battle rap culture. Like, he's just a good person, good dude. You never get that grimy, snake kind of feel. You gotta watch your back around him. Like, he's just a good dude, man. He's, he's bubbly, he always makes you feel like, you know, like, like a positive energy, you know what I'm saying, whenever you talk to him. Never, never in my life. High time, no one who ever felt any type of sideways vibes from the homie. And 
while he's still obviously still alive and breathing and everything, he's been unfortunately taken away from the culture due to unfortunate circumstances. You know, I've heard details of his case. At the end of the day, I'm not gonna, you know, speak on all that. That's his personal business. Whatever happened, happened. At the end of the day, I have my history. Y'all might see this fun dude right now, but I have my history. Everyone in battle rap, everyone in life has their history. Everyone comes from something. We've all made our own mistakes. You know, it's super unfortunate uh, what happened. But at the end of the day, we all as a community, you know, since a family, you know what I'm saying? Battle rap is a family. Whether you're in a competing league, at the end of the day, the competition is necessary to keep this thing going. So you might hate this league because they're getting more views than you, but at the end of the day, that league is your brother. You know what I'm saying? The battle that you really want to get it shaken with, you know, in the ring, that battle is your brother. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's, 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 combat, it's combative uh, respect in a lot of ways. You know, it's like boxing. You know, you throw hands after the, the, the fight's over, touch gloves, shake it up. You know, it's like that. So um, just want to give a, you know, a salute to the homie. Five years is a long time. If, if it turns out to be the whole time that you have to, you know, stay behind bars. But at the end of the day, we're all going to do our best to make sure that when you get out five years or sooner, you have a home to come back to. You know what I'm saying? So, my brother, Adi Boom, salute to you, bro. Wherever you at right now, keep your head up, stay strong. I know that ARP is, you know, holding you down heavy and he's going to make sure that you're good. So, I saw the blog. Um, dropped earlier today. It's a Sunday right now. You know, dropped earlier today. Um, I respect ARP. I respect shout out heavy bags too. Heavy bags really looking out for both. Um, but everyone in this community, let's do our part. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's keep let's keep his name rocking. You know, for the time that he's gone, he's a good dude. So, Adi Boom, 